what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to use Artemis cheat app on your PS3 this can be done on Hen PS3 and also CFW PS3 so it's the Artemis cheat app um, where you can select your cheats for your game and play use the cheats while playing game I don't know if this will work for online games but I have tested out offline um, give me a few more days and I will check it out if it works on online and if it's also safe to use online um, so yeah let's go ahead now and get started alright so right here I have the Artemis um, R5 and I have this game right here um, it's a small game I recommend that you guys try this out using a small game first also whatever game you download or whatever game you have on your PS3 make sure that it correspond with the cheats inside the Artemis okay so we're gonna use the cheats that are built in you guys can make your own cheats but we're gonna use the cheats that are built in okay so right click and extract here you will get these um, other files but we don't need them so we're just gonna delete these other files okay so we have the Artemis PS3 and the game so let's um, copy these over to our USB this is my USB remember guys that the USB must be in FAT32 go ahead and paste them here after you have pasted them insert the USB in the right USB port on the PS3 alright so let's head over to our PS3 now remember plug the USB in the right USB port okay guys so now that we're on the PS3 log into your user and let's head over to the game column remember guys this can be done on CFW or Hen PS3 so if you're on CFW PS3 go ahead and install the PKG if you're on Hen PS3 go ahead and enable your Hen okay so Hen was enabled press X alright go to package manager install package file standard and here we have the Artemis and we also have the joint strike so go ahead and install any one of them first it doesn't matter okay alright so press circle go back out and here we have the Artemis and here we have the game keep in mind guys that this will work with PKG like this game and it will also work with folder games so any games that you have inside webman or multiman it will work and it will also work with PKGs alright so let's go ahead and press X and run Artemis alright guys so now that you have launched Artemis head over to the option tab and you want to turn off the music okay it might be annoying to some people also you can widen the screen so if you keep pressing right you can widen the screen a little bit if you press right on the bottom one you can widen it some more alright okay after that you can press circle and go back out okay so right over here where it says about let me just go ahead and give a shout out to all these people that worked on the Artemis app for the PS3 shout out to everybody that worked on the app alright so head over to the cheats right here press X you will see a user list pop up and these are all the games with all the cheats that the app supports as you guys can see the the list goes all the way down all right so I'm gonna look for the game that that's installed on my PS3 okay guys before I go any further let me explain how to identify 
your game ID numbers so that it correspond with the ones with Artemis. Remember, the ID numbers in Artemis needs to be the same ID numbers as the game that are installed on your PS3. Okay guys, so let me show you guys how to identify your game ID numbers. Okay, so right here we have the Joint Strike PKG that's installed on my PS3. And as you guys can see, it says NPUB324. And right here in Artemis, it shows NPUB324. So this one correspond with the one installed on my PS3. Okay. Alright, so let me show you guys how to identify a folder game. Alright, so this is a folder game. Alright, so let me just go ahead and delete the ID number. So if you download a game, a folder game, and it doesn't have the ID number, how can you find out? Okay, so that's the problem. So with this right here, Param SFO Editor, all you have to do is um, go ahead go ahead and extract here all right now go ahead and um, run as admin okay now this folder right here this blue folder right here go ahead and click it it's gonna ask you to locate the game so go ahead and um, locate your game okay so I have located the game so the game is right here and I located it here so go inside it go inside the PS3 game folder and you want to click on the param SFO and click open and as you guys can see it shows the name of the game and it also shows the title ID so this is the ID name that you need to look for that you need to look for inside the cheats okay so make sure that you look through it and make sure that it correspond right there so very simple very easy to figure out the name of the game guys and there we go we now have the ID number right there so that's how you can identify your folder game ID numbers or your PKG ID numbers okay so I hope this help you guys out okay so this is the game that's installed on my PS3 remember guys PKG or folder games will work but it needs to correspond with your game okay so right here I have the giant strike um, NPU B324 that's the PKG I installed on my PS3. If you have a folder game, make sure that it says the exact same thing, plus or bless it. So make sure that you guys install the corresponding game on your PS3, okay? All right, so I'm gonna press X right here on Joint Strike. Okay guys, so these are all the cheats that support it for the game, Joint Strike. And if you press X, it will say once. So let me explain this, guys. Whenever you activate the cheats, you can only use those cheats once in the game. So what you need to do is press the square button and it will say consistent. So once you activate the cheat, you can continue using the cheat throughout the whole game. Okay, so we're just going to go and press X square x square x square x square x square square and that's it so now we have infinity use of these cheats okay make sure that it says consistence all right so go ahead now and press circle it will take you back out here press circle again it will take you back to the home screen of the artemis now press x and you will get one single beep on your ps3 okay guys so we just press start game and it send us back to the xmb so from here you can select your pkg game 
or you can select your folder games okay so I'm gonna try this out with my PKG games first you will get a message in the top right hand corner and if you get that message all you have to do is press the PS button then press start and the cheat will be activated okay so let's go ahead press X and there it is guys Artemis PS3 start to attach okay guys so to activate the cheats all you have to do is press the PS button on your controller then press the start button and the cheats will be attached and activated that's all you have to do very simple if you want to disable the cheats all you have to do is press the PS button once again and then press the select button to deactivate the cheats so cheats are now deactivated so let's go ahead and activate back the cheat and let's try it out Alright, so let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, guys, so let's give it a try. As you all can see, the cheats are. Okay, guys, so if the video was helpful, please leave a like, share the video around, and also you guys can subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.